Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Keppel, and this video today I want to show you some new Thermoweb products. They have a whole new collection from Thermoweb and Gina K Designs called Stamp and Foil, where you combine stamping, foiling, and die cutting, and they have all the products coordinated perfectly to do all of those things. In a video on the Thermoweb YouTube channel, which I'm going to link to here, I showed how to use these products with dye inks. I wanted to see if Distress Oxide inks worked as well, so that's what I'm going to do in this video here today. So let me show you these products. These are the stamp sets. There's Butterfly Kisses, Where Flowers Bloom, and Time to Celebrate. And you can see there are some layering stamps, some outline stamps. These are the Foilmates detail sheets. Each stamp set has a foil mate sheet that you can purchase separately, and they also have die sets that work perfectly with those foil mate sheets. So we're going to use Wear Flowers Bloom and stamp with them with some Distress Oxide ink. Like I mentioned, I had previously done this only with dye ink, and dye ink is pretty translucent, so I was just wondering if the Distress Oxide ink, because it does have some of the qualities of pigment and might sit on top of the toner, if the foil would still work. So I'm going to stamp all of these Foilmate Wear Flowers Bloom images with Distress Oxide inks. And I will link down below to all the Distress Oxide ink colors that I used. So I pretty much tried to use a bunch of different colors just to make sure that if one was darker or lighter, it wouldn't affect the quality of the foiling that we're going to do after the stamping. So you can see there on those flower centers, all you need to do is grab the flowers that is the complete layer where it's all colored in and stamp that over your center. And then you can take the outline layer and stamp that. You can see I kind of messed up on that larger flower there. That is okay. We're gonna fix that in just a minute and I'll show you a little tip and trick on how to fix that. So on the smaller one, it worked fine. The thing that I'm gonna use is just a water brush with just some clean, clear water inside. Because the Distress Oxide inks react with water, if you just take a teeny tiny bit of water, just a wet brush that's not dripping or anything like that, just a little bit of water, and you can move that color around and fix those little spots that didn't get stamped. Now I'm gonna use the Thermoweb's new purple tape to adhere my dies down because I wanna make sure that I cut them out nice and evenly around the entire image. This purple tape is fantastic. It works really, really well with things like masking and watercoloring and holding your panels down. I really like it also for holding my dies in place. So I'm just going to tear little bits of the purple tape off and then run it through my die cut machine and you'll see that I have some perfectly stamped and die cut images that are ready to try out the foiling with those distress ink colors. Now the thing about distress inks is that they do take a little bit longer to dry so be careful with these detail sheets because they can smear if they're not totally dry because the sheet itself is a little bit slick. It's not like a photo paper or anything but it's a little slick. Okay, I have my laminator heating up for a good 10 minutes, and I have a parchment sandwich, just a parchment paper folded in half, and I'm gonna use a piece of cardstock as the base. That just keeps the pressure nice and even on all of my images. And then I'm gonna take my little die cut flowers and leaves and line them up and use a few pieces of foil so that I can have different colored foils running through on my images. And these are all new foil colors as well, so I'll have them linked down below too. The next thing I'm going to do is take some Thermoweb Gina K Designs Premium Cardstock. This is the white cardstock, and I have a piece that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I grabbed a sentiment from Where Flowers Bloom, and I'm going to stamp that with some Versamark Black Onyx ink. Now I have two small flowers from the Where Flowers Bloom stamp set. Now these do not get foiled. They do have coordinating dies, but I'm gonna use them to create a stamped background. And I love to do this with Distress Oxide inks. So I'll link to another video here where I also stamped with Distress Oxide inks. So I'm just moving these little flowers around, trying to make it organic and just playful and fun. Now you can tell with this 
part of the card. I'm just using one color of Distress Oxide inks. It is the Faded Jeans color. And the reason that I stuck with one color because I do like to make multicolor backgrounds as well is because I am gonna be including several colors of the stamp and foil images. So I didn't want this really competing and I felt like the black sentiment and then the faded jeans, little flowers in the background was neutral enough that then we could pop some really fun colors on the stamp and foil images. So I'm using my Misty to do this just in case I don't get a great image and then I can double stamp it. So the next thing I'm going to do is take those die cut and stamped and foiled images and I am going to lay them down on my card. So I'm going to use some Memory Runner XL which is just a really great tape runner to adhere first the leaf and then when I go to adhere the flower which I want kind of right next to the sentiment I realize the leaf is just a little bit over too close to the sentiment. So I did have time to pick it up before that Thermo Web Memory Runner XL really adhered it down. Once you press down and definitely once it's overnight, it's not going anywhere. So if you need to move something, try and do it quickly. I'm also going to adhere that large flower down with the Memory Runner XL. And then I decided to grab my Thermo Web 3D Zots, which pops up and adds some dimension to these other two flowers. The great thing about Zots is all you have to do is put your little die cut on top of the Zot, press down and peel it off, and then stick it onto your project. Next, I'm gonna take the Memory Runner XL and just adhere some tape runner down to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding note card and adhere that panel down and this card is done. So the answer to my question is yes. If you use Distress Oxide inks, the stamp and foil line works perfectly. It works beautifully, in fact. So if you're interested in any of the products that I use, those will all be linked down below. If you haven't done so yet, please click to subscribe to my channel so you can be the first to see all the new videos that I have coming out really soon. You can check out my blog and I'll have some other videos linked for you, some Distress Oxide videos, some foiled videos, so that you can check out some other things that I've done with similar products. I wanna thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day.